Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your lead Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my weekly What I Have Been Warming video, and my editor happens to be at camp, so you're not going to get any of the fancy goodies today. So let's just get started with everything that I've got here. And my very first combination that I want to talk to you about is something where I'm just trying to get through some things. So on the 4th of July itself, we actually volunteered to walk in the parade with our church. It was a wonderful blessing handing out water bottles to our community and just meeting people and shaking hands. And it was just like, it was like a movie scene. We had great old Motown music playing and just loving on people it was amazing. So I knew I wasn't going to be at home very much. So I was getting through some stuff that I don't always love. Green is not my absolute favorite scent profile. I don't mind it, and once in a while I crave it, but uh, these things were able to just kind of be done in my home that particular day, and it was nice because it was so hot and refreshing, but I wasn't sitting in it all day long. So the first thing is Peace Slowly Be With You, which I did like very much when we got it as a new release item early spring. And it is a very good scent, but I'm afraid that somewhere along the line, I decided it smelled like Pert Plus Shampoo, and that was kind of the death of it for me. So it's got apple, it's got watery greens, it's very nice, and it has a little bit of a lily scent, but to me, it just smells too much like shampoo to really want it in my house anymore. Rainforest Bungalow, I believe, has not sold out yet in our clearance section. This is a very nice green, fresh scent. So I was doing these two kind of alternate warmers throughout most of the house. This is a little bit more clean and sharp, like green leaves, very dewy. It's got that rainforest feel. It's really, really good. So if you can still pick this up in clearance, I would recommend it. And then for the spring bricks, cucumber and cactus water is going to be a challenge for me to get through. I like this in my basement and I honestly am kind of having this one grow on me a little bit as I'm having to use it up and I've got plenty. It's very strong and it definitely lasts a long time. So this is clean with a little bit of sharpness and it's got almost a little bit of a salty edge from the interesting almost pickly note that Scentsy has in their cactus anything. There's a white tea in cactus, which I really don't like that much that floats around sometimes. It was in old Bring Back My Bars. This is better than that, and I'm glad that I have a brick of this rather than the white tea and cactus. But that was a day where it was nice, it was refreshing, but I wasn't home a lot because I wasn't totally into those scents. Now, almost everything else that I've got here, I really wanted to melt it. So I have definitely fallen in love with my combination where this is a direct mix of a little bit of beach, like half a cube, and a big chunk of my brick of beach daisy. These two together in a warmer, direct mixing is incredible. So if you wanted to do more wax, you could probably do one cube of beach to a, like a whole brick cube of beach daisy. Now that probably doesn't fit in almost any warmer that we offer, except maybe the classic curve. So you still need to cut your brick cubes and your regular cubes down in your mixing amount so we don't have a wax in it like right now. I'm pushing it a little bit with four cubes of coconut palm in that particular warmer, and that is the max amount you can put in almost any dish. But this is the perfect, beautiful, light, airy, beachy scent when you put them together. And I know many people love beach by itself, but it's too strong for me. Many people love beach daisy by itself. It's too weak for me. So the Goldilocks fix, these two together are just right. So there were some days this week where it was just really, really overcast not nice outside, just kind of eh. And I was thinking bakery for sure. And one of the nicest things I did all week long was direct mixing. And then sometimes it was just alternate warmers. I did some of each all through the house. I did our beautiful baked apple pie, which is current in catalog and churro churro, which just left for our bring back my bar this particular last round in June. I hope you have both of these in your stash because these together were so good. It was like an apple turnover. So the churro churro gives you more of the pastry quality with the spices and the vanilla and the baked good scent. And then the baked apple pie, I think is the best actual apple, cinnamon, fillingy, bubbly scent we have. So it's heavier on the sweetness of the apple, not so much on the cinnamon, more like, you know, it's your cinnamon vanilla, or I'm actually gonna talk about apple and cinnamon sticks here eventually, because my daughter wanted to warm that this week, which is a little out of season. These two were fantastic. Also, you could do this with St. Knickerdoodle, or you could do this with maybe cinnamon vanilla and some, some um, vanilla bean buttercream, but man, oh man, these two together were amazing. So 
that made me really, really happy. So then another day that was nice and sunny, I was doing a good amount of Coastal Sunset, which is a really good mid to late summer bar. And then I was doing an alternate warmers, Kukui and Coconut, which is gonna pop up a couple times this week. I was really enjoying my Kukui and Coconut this particular week in July. But Coastal Sunset is a strong, musky, amethyst, amber, coconut, and sandalwood scent. This is very opinionated. So I used a few warmers with a cube or two of this, and then the whole rest of the house to smooth it out, I put in warmers of Kukui and coconut. Now this is a scent that I believe I put it in my top 10 for spring, summer when I did my um, video where Linda and I were each gonna do a video and then we would talk about what our favorites were. And we like some of the same things. She's a lot pickier for spring, summer than I am. I think that our fall, winter, opinions are closer related than our spring summer but this bar is so good i will probably put this back in my club in the fall oh is this nice guys so this is mid-summer like bronzer oil suntan lotion for me it's not like sunscreen it's got that nutty deep rich flavor or scent sorry and then a little bit of jasmine and the coconut. It's gorgeous. It only gets to a medium strength by itself, but it does pair well with other bars, which I was kind of playing around with this week a lot. This is so good, you guys. So if there's something that you think maybe you should order in July and you're not exactly sure what you want to put in your six packs or whatever, because if you do a bundle and save, you get one of these for free. So you get six for $30. So one clam is free. This kukui and coconut would be an amazing thing to throw in if you don't already have some, haven't tried it, so good. Okay, now today specifically, I am getting through some of my favorite fresh scents for the middle of the summer. So in my club is the Dearly Departed Atlantic Air. Now this is a sea salt scent with a little bit of orchid. It's very fresh. It almost has the tiniest hint of a laundry aspect. It's really light and floral. So many people don't have access to this because it is retired. But I will tell you right now, ocean air and coconut water is available. And it is similar to Atlantic air, but take out the floral and add a little bit of freshness, sweetness from coconut and driftwood instead. And you know what, guys, as much as I love Atlantic air and I don't dare take it out of my club, Ocean air and coconut water is a rock star. We also have blue coconut beach, which I did not melt this week, and that's also retired. We had it for Mother's Day. All three of these scents are totally up my alley. I think I'm going to have all of them in my club, one club or another, by the time the season is over. But this ocean air coconut water is currently available. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's subtle, sweet, and light when it comes to fresh. So if you struggle with performance in your home, like you need those powerhouses, this might not be your bar, but for me, it's perfect. I have a almost 1500 square foot ranch with semi open connected spaces and regular ceilings, no cathedral ceilings or any stairwells that would make the scent disappear. This is so, so good. So I'm enjoying this and this together today, and it's lovely. And then I just saw that I had four cubes left of this clam of coconut palm, and I just put that in this specific warmer to kind of help fill the front room. Now, coconut palm, the closest thing that I could say is kukui and coconut, but then take out the jasmine and the sweetness, you kind of get the coconut palm base. This is just kind of a waxy chapstick coconut with a little bit of patchouli, and they say there are like greens in here. I really like this. I didn't like it at Christmas time when I first reviewed it. It was the wrong time of the year. I did put this in my club for a short period of time to get a few. It is no longer in there. I'm not going to cry a river when it's gone. But it's good and it's perfect for this midsummer weather where you want a little bit of that musky, yummy, coconutty, tropical quality. It's really nice. So this is very relaxing. Very good. Okay, another day that was all nasty and drizzly and overcast, I kind of got into a fall mood. So I took around the campfire, which is in my club currently. And this is just a smoky wood and sap and bonfire smell. It's so nice though. It's much better than what you think it's going to be. It's pleasantly smoky. And a lot of people have said you just have to mix that directly with Cozy Cardigan, which is another fall scent that's in my club. So this is more like amber, blushing silk, suede, roses. It's beautiful and relaxing. And yes, these two together were very nice. So this makes a very comforting, sophisticated scent. And it was really, really good. And around the campfire, I love by itself. Cozy Cardigan, I love by itself. But it made for a comforting day and kind of a nice change from all the fruity and the summery stuff where July is a month where I don't mind kind of mixing it up. And then, of course, you're going to see in August 
I'm going to go kind of farmer's market and then we're going to like slide into fall probably halfway through August because I just won't be able to help myself. But anyway, I'm still being good and doing mostly summer stuff for July. So another day I did what is my favorite lemonade mix and that is lemon sorbet, one cube to one cube and warmer with watermelon tangerine. Now this was very nice, but I do have to laugh because I found that I had in my stash two bars of watermelon wave from flash sales. I don't think I've ever melted this before. And darn it, if I don't like this watermelon wave even better than what I keep raving about as my favorite mix. This is good. Lemon sorbet and watermelon tangerine together, they give you that icy fresh watermelon lemonade scent, but there's something about this watermelon wave. If I remember right, this has watermelon, lime, and a little bit of like coastal water. This was amazing. If I ever see this back again for something, I'm gonna get more of it because this might actually be, and I like watermelon tangerine and it is a better performer, but this might actually be on Centipeel, my favorite watermelon thing I've ever smelled. And I was really, really surprised how good this was, but I put this whole bar in several different warmers in my Florida room only because it is a lighter scent. And that's really good. So this was a really nice, refreshing, cold and icy day in the house. Okay, uh, <coughs> another day, excuse me. I was definitely in the mood for something kind of fruity and something kind of citrus. So I did one bar in alternate warmers of raspberry hibiscus tea, which is a great performer, very nice homey summer scent. If you don't like your suntan tropicals and you're more of like a homebody that sits on the porch sipping their tea, get some raspberry hibiscus tea. It's got elderberry sugar, it's got the hibiscus, it has the raspberries. To me, it's almost got this little hint of citrus in the background. So I wanted to also do tangerine and sugar cane from the current summer collection. So the Sunshine State of Mind collection is still, I believe, available. I believe all the bars are still available for purchase and they are available to put in club at least. This tangerine and sugar cane makes me so happy. It's light, it's sweet, it's gentle citrus. So this alternate warmers with raspberry hibiscus tea, very homey, very nice middle of the summer. Okay, now we're kind of into things that were going in weird places or specific rooms. I really wanted some red, white, and berry pie at the end of the day where I was doing baked apple pie and churro churro. None of those bakery smells, except maybe the baked apple pie, really go super strong and long, so I didn't feel bad about cleaning out a couple warmers and adding a bunch of this, and this was so good. I do not have this in my club, but it is just the nicest, authentic cherry pie type smell. It almost goes a little Luden's cough drop sometimes, and then sometimes it's really good, like beautiful cherry berry with a little bit of a crusty note. So nice, excellent bar. But then another day I wanted to compare it to the one that is truly my favorite, apple cherry strudel. Now, I think the red, white, and berry pie might throw slightly better, but apple cherry strudel's in my club. And it is my favorite cherry scent. It's so good. It's got the flaky pastry crust. It's got beautiful apples, just the tiniest pinch of some sort of a fall spice and lots of real authentic, juicy, tart, sour cherries. I live in Michigan. We are like the cherry capital of the world where my brother lives in Traverse City. So, so good, or at least the cherry capital of America. Although I think Washington would argue with me, but it's good, or Oregon, or whichever one of those coastal states over out in the West produces all the apples and the cherries too. We do it best though, because we have the most beautiful, now I'm totally going on like a Michigan proud rant, the most beautiful place in the, in the whole United States several years ago by Good Morning America, the vote went to the Lelona Peninsula area in Michigan, which is off of Lake Michigan. I know we don't have the spectacular ocean water, but there is something about the Great Lakes and the summertime that is so beautiful. And where am I going with this? Oh, the whole cherry deal, cherries and apples. Apple cherry strudel reminds me of the farm stands in Traverse City, Michigan on a beautiful summer day. One time I got to go out with my family and this is like the most beautiful snapshot memory. We went to an orchard up there when the sweet cherries were just ready to pick. We went to this tree that was just about falling over with beautiful Queen Anne cherries. Those are the yellow ones that have the red blush on the outside. And we picked baskets of the most perfect, gorgeous fruit. And so sometimes you have a scent memory that then reminds you of a really beautiful vacation and a really beautiful place and time in your life. And if you've never visited Michigan, there's a lot of parts of it that aren't all that exciting, but man. Lake Michigan, anywhere between Petoskey, Leelanau, Traverse City, Empire, it is glorious and is totally worth the trip. 
Anyway, so that's my public service announcement for being a Michigander. Let's go back to what I was warming in my own home. So Aloha Citrus was going one of the days, I don't remember which one, just in my Florida room. Because <sighs> this is a gorgeous bar, but it's another one that doesn't throw super well. So usually contain it in a smaller space. So this has the citrus, it's got jade blossom and vetiver, and it makes you feel like you are just out in a Hawaiian garden. Really, really light and lovely. Very classy, honestly. And this is a good car bar. So that's one I usually get in the summertime. And then I was doing, I think the day that I was doing Kukui and Coconut and Coastal Sunset, Vitamin R Relax in at least the Florida room, maybe a bedroom too. And this is such a nice scent. It's got, what, vanilla sugar, amber, and just a very nice, sweet, rounded sort of a comfort scent. Very, very good. And I did leave the front door open today instead of closing the heavy door out of the storm door area. So I'm sorry if you get road noise. So what else do I have? Ooh, in the basement. We had some kind of split personality stuff going in the basement. I did my very last and only clam of candy crave down there. Trying to contain the scent and enjoy it, I could barely smell it. In my home, this bar has never performed well, and it's kind of sad because I know when people get good performance, it's gorgeous. So I think this is sort of like a blue raspberry cotton candy. It's really pretty. It never has worked for me. So there's that. Slightly light and sweet, very faint, not real impressive. Another thing that was going down there, and I don't know if I talked about this last week, I think I did, was cashmere pear. This went for several days. I have a few in my collection, but I didn't keep it in my club. I think I did talk about this last week because I like it, but it, it's not a love of mine anymore. And it's rare for me to fall out of love with a bar that I used to really passionately enjoy, but that one's just kind of, I'm over it. Vanilla cinnamon maple, very fall, not summer appropriate at all, but I just wanted my bakery fix and I call this my basement bar. I do not know what it is about this bar in my basement. It performs perfectly down there. It makes you feel like you have got a plate full of, I don't know, oatmeal or pancakes or French toast that is just dripping with butter and maple and cinnamon for the fall. It is so good, so comforting. I was totally unimpressed with this when I had it in a brick years ago, a couple years ago. But when you put this thing in my basement, it just sings. And I enjoyed it for days. And I'm so glad it's in my club. If it comes back in the fall, I'll take it out. If it doesn't, I am prepared to enjoy this all fall and winter long in my den downstairs. So what I have left are things that were going in the bedroom. So I have been hearing about a mix floating around. Lisa Roberry has talked about it. Other people have talked about it in comments on Instagram and whatever. These two are supposed to be really good together. Kukui and coconut, I told you I was doing more with it this week, and blue agave and melon, which is a very nice scent I have not talked about yet because I was kind of saving it for late July and early August. This was a summer collection scent several years ago. Not one that people really gave a lot of press to in its time. It's sweet, it's got agave. I believe that it has honeydew melon and it's got this sweet tartness. Maybe there's some kiwi in here. I really like it, but people said you gotta mix it one cube to one cube with cuckoo and coconut. So I actually did this in two warmers in my bedroom so I could really analyze it because I've heard it smells like a resort. It just smells like the peak of summer. This was very nice, but what I got out of it in my own space was that these two didn't mix terribly well together in the warmer. So I would walk in and one time I would really smell cuckoo and coconut and then the next time I'd really smell blue agave and melon. So it's odd how sometimes certain scents pair beautifully and you really get this harmonious mix where you can't tell where one scent starts and another ends and then sometimes this happens. I liked it, I would happily do it again, but it, it was just kind of funny how those two scents, it's almost like they were vying for their space scent wise in the room, it was weird, but it was fun. Another day I did one of my bars of fuzzy blanket. Now I told you guys I wasn't gonna club this. Last minute I threw it into my probationary club and I'm glad that I did because I really enjoyed this in my room the other day. And sometimes bars just need a little bit of time to cure. So I know these were very new when we got them for bring back my bar and knowing that we wouldn't see this again for forever, I just threw it in that club that I've got holding out for August. I think what I'm gonna do is combine that with my, my bi-monthly and then skip August and just kind of weed everything out for my September bi-monthly shipment because this is excellent. And there are other bars in my probationary club that I definitely think I want that on my bi-monthly 
frequency, not my quarterly. So I think that's where those are going to be going. Uh, I've got Sweet and Sassy in there. I've got, that was the Tinkerbell scent. I've got this one. I've got Ocean Air and Coconut Water. I have two Blue Coconut Beach. Beautiful bars that I'm going to want to save for the long haul in the future. Oh, so good. So this has mellowed out a little bit. When I first got it, there was a sharpness to it because this is like honeysuckle, sandalwood, and lavender. Yes, that's the most important note. Now it's a little more harmonious and chilled. Beautiful. And I'll probably be keeping that around for a bit. Another day I was doing 100 acre wood. I just had three cubes left. This is a great scent that they consistently keep in the catalog. I hope it stays when the fall winter changes over. This has like chamomile and I think maybe sweet pea. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank on this. Maybe some jasmine. I always feel like there's lavender, but there isn't in the notes. It's soft. It's gentle. It's comforting. It's homey. It's really good. And then another one that is similar to that is chamomile petals. This is more floral from what? April scent of the month. And I love this one. This is a comforting, cozy scent with a little bit of apple and all that floral. And it almost feels like a little bit of honey. I don't know that that's in the notes, but it's beautiful. And it's a perfect bedroom scent. So that was everything I was doing. And then one of my kids grabbed apple and cinnamon sticks. I don't know if this is coming back in the fall. So this is my last bar. She just did one cube. And I'll tell you what, my kids rarely have accidents, but of course, my younger daughter chose this, did it in her bedroom, and got it all over her wall, which thankfully we are going to be repainting her wall or her walls next month anyway. So she cleaned it all off and said, Mom, I'm sorry, but I actually had a wax in it, which like I said, they rarely do, and it figures it would be a red bar. This is a good bar. To me, it smells a little bit like bubble gum. I don't know if anybody else struggles with that with this, this, and then blood orange spice, which that's an old retired bar. I don't know that we will see that again. They have this weird sharp note. This one's much better to me than, than Blood Orange Spice. But apple, white pumpkin, cinnamon stick, it's almost got a savory quality. It's not sweet and warm. It's more sharp. It's classy. It's very nice. So she had this going in her room. I mean, I'll be happy to get another bar if we get it back in the fall. And if not, I won't cry and I'll use that this fall and it'll be good. So that is everything that I have been getting through. It is mid-July. I would love to know if any of you are preparing to go to SFR and what you are the most excited about experiencing there. I will be doing it, um, what's the word I want? I keep wanting to say digitally, but remotely on my computer and I'll probably not catch the whole thing just because life will happen and I can't sit on a computer the whole time because they're only going to live stream it and we can't go back and like rewatch things. But. I'm excited, honestly, to turn the page at the end of the month and get into August. So if you are one who is a budgeter, August will be 10 and 20% off of various things that are in our summer catalog to move all that merchandise so we can get ready for September 1st where the fall winter things come out. And whenever we get that first spoiler sneak peek of the new fall winter catalog, we will all be getting on and telling you what our thoughts are. That is one of my favorite and least favorite videos that I ever do. It's like this, you know, the, the dreaded discontinued list is what I call it. And then the shocker list of, oh, that's not in the catalog. Oh my gosh, you know, and, um, I think since he just lives for the shock value with us, it gives us all gray hair and it makes our clubs gigantic. But anyway, have a great day and I will talk to you soon. This is Elizabeth Quinn with Elizabeth Scenes and Sense. God bless. Bye-bye.